hi everyone welcome back i hope you're doing well i'm going to be showing you how i make this herbal infused body and hair butter it's made with an oil infusion of some amazing natural herbs that your skin and hair will absolutely love um, this feels really good on your skin it's lightweight um, very moisturizing so i'm going to show you my process step by step how i make this herbal infused hair and body butter so let's jump right in and if this is your first time stopping by my name is esther and i make diy hair and skincare videos and i also sell my products on my website and i also have some online formulating courses as well i'll have everything mentioned linked in the description box so let's jump right in I'm going to get started weighing out my ingredients and the entire formula recipe will be listed in the description box and please don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't yet and please turn on your notifications so you don't miss any other videos that I upload so I'm getting started with my herbal oil infusion so for my herbs I'm starting with cloves cloves has amazing benefits it has antiseptic antibacterial antifungal benefits um, next i'm using some hibiscus hibiscus has so many antioxidants that are great for both your hair and skin and i'm adding some raspberry leaves as well and this has its own hydrating moisturizing benefits for both your hair and skin last is fenugreek uh, seeds fenugreek is also amazing for your hair and your skin um, it helps with hair um, growth thickening it has anti-inflammatory benefits i'm just going to add my olive oil to do my infusion of course you can use any other oil lightweight oil that you prefer So for my infusion, I'm doing the cold process method. I'm just going to cover this up and place it away from direct heat or sunlight. Um, you can place this in a cupboard um, and just leave it alone for a couple of weeks. Um, I left mine to infuse for four weeks. There are other methods of infusing your um, herbs and oils, um, but this is the method I used um, for this uh, formula. So after four weeks, I was ready to make this hair and body butter. So I'm going to weigh out my plant butters. Um, so for this formula, I'm going to be using cocum butter. Um, cocum butter is very moisturizing. It's non-clogging and it's rich in vitamin E. Um, you can also use other uh, plant butters like shea butter, mango butter, cocoa butter. Um, I'm also going to add in my aloe vera butter aloe vera butter is very lightweight as well rich in minerals and vitamins and also very moisturizing on your skin so i'm just going to melt this down on low heat um, until it has completely melted down My plant butters have completely melted down and I've also cooled it down a bit. Um, so now I'm going to add my uh, plant oils that I've weighed out. 
and once i add them together i'm just going to give this a quick mix and then i'm going to cover this up and i'm going to place in the freezer until it is semi-solid This is what the um, body butter mixture is looking like. Um, so it is semi-solid. Um, you don't want your mixture to get really hard because it's going to be difficult to whip. So you want a soft, medium consistency like this. So this is going to be easy to whip up um, either with your stand mixer or hand mixer. Um, so I'm just going to use my hand mixer. This is a really small batch and I'm just going to mix for just a few minutes. Um, I, I usually don't whip my body butters for more than 10 minutes, um, not even 15 minutes. That's really too much. Um, you really don't want to whip your body butters for such a long time that you put so much air in it and then it's going to deflate. So for me personally, I whip my body butter for about 10 minutes. Um, I start off on my on low speed, whip for about two minutes, and then I go to medium speed and whip for about four to five minutes. And this is what the consistency is starting to look like. So it is a light, fluffy um, butter. I get a lot of questions about if the uh, butter is going to firm up. It is going to firm up slightly, but your body butter, hair butter should never turn or become rock solid. So it all comes down to the formula that you follow and the combination of your oils and butters. I'm going to add um, some um, essential oil that is optional. I'm using lavender essential oil because I love the smell. And then I'm going to add some vitamin E. Vitamin E oil is going to help extend the shelf life and it's also going to keep your oils from um, becoming rancid or smelling funny. Um, so after adding um, this together, I'm just going to whip for about a minute or so. Um, you can also add arrowroot powder if you don't want the greasy feeling. Um, I opted not to do that with this um, butter um, recipe, but you can add some arrowroot powder if you don't want um, the butter as greasy. And our herbal infused hair and body butter is ready. The texture, the consistency is just amazing it feels great on your skin it also absorbs quickly even though i did not use arrowroot powder so i hope you try this formula out feel free to make changes substitutions make it work for you make it work for your own hair type your own skin type um, i'm just going to package this up but i'm going to show you how it applies on the skin i love making um, body butter products because i'm able to just change it up switch it up and just make it my own so i hope you enjoyed this formula check the description box everything is going to be listed there in percents as well as grams um, as always please don't forget to subscribe if you've not turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos that i upload and don't forget to like this video because that really helps me out and i'll see you in the next one bye